Hey guys, it's Couch Potato here. So, this is my first voice reveal thing. Um, so hi. I know I've used a lot of um, text to talk in the past, but that was because I'm actually incredibly self conscious about my voice and I didn't actually have a proper microphone. But I've recently moved in with my father in law and that, and he helped set me up with a microphone, so I thought I'd give this a shot. So, yeah. Um, so, with today's video, I decided to do a redraw of an old piece that I was incredibly proud of because of the whole New Year thing. I wanted to see how my style had progressed and how, you know, I had gotten along with speci uh, st specifically stylizing my own art because I I find I've been searching for a while for and experimenting for a while to find an art style that I like, that I enjoy, that I can sort of go with. Um, as you've probably noticed with my YouTube channel and with other things that I've posted on Twitter, my style has varied a lot. Um, so yeah, so this is an old piece I did during an earthquake around this time last year. A little bit early actually, it was more around November last year. Um, and I decided to go with a more old school anime inspired style. Just um, purely based on the fact that that was one of the things that really inspired me initially to start drawing and I but I didn't want to go fully with an anime type style so I've still tried to keep some more realistic or like not realistic more cartoony aspects to my drawing I'm sorry for stuttering and all that actually I actually have quite a bad stutter um, when I get nervous and I'm trying really hard not to get nervous so and this is completely unscripted which isn't the most intelligent thing but hey if I script it, I'm possibly going to chicken out, so I'm just doing this on the fly. So apologies for that. Um, but the program I'm using for this is the same program I used initially, which is Clip Studio Paint. Um, it's a, for me personally, it's a really good mixture between the capabilities of Paint Tool Sai and Photoshop, which is really nice. Um, I'm using just the default brushes that I've edited to suit my needs. Um, but yeah, um, hope you enjoy this. I personally think with the entire composition, you'll see the comparison at the end with the composition, the colour theory and just the general image itself turned out a lot better than my previous one. In my previous image I was a bit unsure and a bit unstable about the style. Um, I kind of mixed styles which didn't work as well, whereas in this one I've got a better grasp on like how I, where I want to go with my style and what I kind of want to do. I mean, there are still things I need to, I want to improve, like my backgrounds, specifically more of an interactive background, how it interacts with the character. But in general, I am pretty happy with how this has turned out. Um, I did leave out some aspects, like you're seeing I'm lining in the roots at the moment. I did actually leave those out in the end as I felt it made it slightly too busy. And I wanted the focus to be more on the main character as opposed to the background itself. The background, I just sort of wanted it to just, yeah, sort of encompass and be more of a compliment rather than distraction. I also included in this particular piece all six of my rats, so that's fun. Um, I'll do an update video on them if you guys wish. Just let me know in the comments if you want. Um, yeah, so I will let you sit back and enjoy the rest of the speed paint. Bye! All day! All day!
So, here is the finished product. Um, if you like that, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!